Adam Driver hosted the show with musical guest Olivia Rodrigo. Driver was nominated for an Academy Award for his performance in the 2019 film Marriage Story. His co-star, Scarlett Johansson, was nominated for Best Actress. Johansson also was nominated at those same 2020 Oscars for Best Supporting Actress in Jojo Rabbit. It was a rare feat in a career that has earned Johansson both critical praise and massive box office success, with her movies taking in nearly $15 billion altogether. Now, the 39-year-old, who is married to SNL star Colin Jost, is generating awards talk for her lead role in this year's Wes Anderson film, Asteroid City. Scarlett and I got together a few months back for a Sunday sit-down at the New York offices of her skincare company called The Outset. Okay, this is our conference room. Believe it or not, this was my dining table. Is that true? <laughs> It is true. You really are a scrappy organization. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson has been scrappy from the start. On screen. <laughs> and now in business with the launch of her skincare line, The Outset. I want to talk about The Outset a lot. <laughs> I'm here for the eye cream. Great. The Colin Jost eye cream, yeah, Colin, as I understand it. That's how it's commonly known as, yeah. <laughs> but let's start, if we can, with Asteroid City. Sure. Which is an amazing Wes Anderson film. Beautiful to look at, as all of his stuff is. My word, it's hot. Johansson plays Midge Campbell, a 1950s movie star forced to quarantine in the fictional desert town of Asteroid City. You were very good in the one about the tramp in the brothel Thank who you. gets amnesia and Thank becomes you. a pediatrician. You were very authentic. Actually, maybe my favorite character I've ever I don't know why nobody else liked it. Oh. What is that phone call like when Wes says, not only do I want you in the movie, but I wrote a part for you? It's like a career dream goal. I was very excited to read a script in its entirety of his, which I never had the chance to do. And it was in the middle of COVID, and so it, was, it actually was a really even more exciting phone call to get because it felt hopeful. I don't like the way that guy looked at us, the alien. Well, how did he, how did he look Like at we're us? doomed. Maybe we are. She is kind of narcissistic and self-involved in, I think, a way that's very um, alluring and enigmatic. She's aware that she's constantly being watched and she doesn't mind that at all. This role came to you at a complicated time for you as well, <laughs> to say the least. As we waited for the window of time to shoot because of COVID and all the regulations, um, you know, I, I, I got pregnant. So on my eight week <laughs> postpartum date, I was flying to Spain and with my young, you know, eight week old baby and Colin. And then I got to bring my infant baby to the table and he could be held by Adrian Brody and Willem Dafoe and <laughs> Brian Cranston and everybody else. So. The stories he will have, his earliest <laughs> babysitters, all Academy Award winners. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Johansson's own story begins in New York's Greenwich Village, where she grew up with dreams of starring in the Broadway musicals she saw with her mother. She began to audition and landed her first film role at just nine years old in Rob Reiner's North. After working steadily as a child actress, Johansson was thrust into adult stardom by her performance alongside Bill Murray in the acclaimed 2003 movie, Lost in Translation. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be. I forgot how young you were when you made that. I mean, 17, you're just, you're a high school kid. Was that a hard thing to have that many eyes on you and to be treated now as an adult effectively after that movie? I mean, I think just being that age is hard anyway. I felt like I was at a crossroads at that time because I, you know, Lost in Translation had come out and Girl with a Pearl Earring. And I did some very exciting work, but then I felt like the work that was out there, for me anyway, was not, it just it was sort of uninspired. She found the fire again on Broadway, starring and winning a Tony Award in the 2010 revival of a view from the bridge. Which sort of brings it full circle. Not only to come to Broadway and do Arthur Miller, but to win a Tony Award. That must have been thrilling. It was thrilling. Our production was so incredibly received and feel totally welcomed by this 
community I admired for my entire life. And oh, it just it's so exciting and makes you feel like alive. And then it's the same year as the play that Black Widow and Iron Man 2 come along, right? Right. What did the Marvel movies do to your career and your life? I didn't know whether... I would be accepted by the, you know, by the this massive fan base that was already there. It was so early days in that genre. I mean, we were on the set of Avengers going, this could be right. really <laughs> awful. I mean, it's so crazy. You have, I remember going, there's a Nordic god, you have a mutant, this rich playboy turned robot guy. I'm a Russian spy. <laughs> Somebody that's been frozen in ice and comes up. It's like, I don't know. This is so goofy. But then here we are. So this is home. Yeah, that's a home away from home. When Johansson is not on set, she's here in the offices of The Outset, the skincare company she co-founded last year. This is our like best selling okay. sort of trio. It's our cleanser, our prep serum, and our daily moisturizer. I'm just realizing I don't do enough. I have no yeah. night cream. What? I don't have, no. But you're on camera all the I time. Know, I know. I need to get more serious about my career. Well, I know. <laughs> so what compelled you to take on this challenge? Since I was probably 12, 13 years old, I have struggled with acne. And when I was younger, it was all about sort of stripping away your skin and basically resurface your entire face. And at some point, I thought, you know, it was like, I have to kind of just stop everything and just try something else, which was just using very clean, moisturizing products. So is it true that um, Colin is a big proponent of the eye cream? Yes. Is, that's his thing? Colin was our eye cream mm -hmm. connoisseur. I never used eye cream before. And Colin uses it every day. And so I thought, well, why don't, since, you know, it was during COVID and I didn't have so many people to test it on. Colin became our, our eye cream expert. Never looked better. <laughs> so youthful. He is. He's like de-aging. It's very annoying. You're doing it all. And with a toddler at home, I mean, it's all very impressive. I mean, you know, I'm sure I left like the oven on or whatever. <laughs> If you haven't seen it yet, Asteroid City is streaming now, and the Outset line of products is available online and at Sephora stores. Our big thanks again to Scarlett and her team at the Outset for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full extended conversation with Scarlett Johansson. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.